Hey everyone, I'm Justin with Personas Audio and behind me we have the long-awaited ADL700 channel strip. Uh, there are three pretty interesting facts about the ADL700. Uh, we had an ADL600, we still do obviously. Uh, it's a two-channel high voltage tube preamp, 600 volt tube preamp, so it's two of them in a, in a case very similar to this. What we did uh, was we took the ADL600 preamp, put it in this box, and we added a custom-made compressor and a custom-made four-band uh, four EQ. So this thing sounds pretty amazing, um, obviously because it's sweet, high-voltage tubes. Um, but the compressor is great, uh, very forgiving too, which is pretty amazing. And then the EQ is just like the icing on top of the cake. Okay, so from left to right on the channel strip, we start with our mic uh, preamp, which again is the ADL 600 preamp. Um, you have your little selector here for instrument, line level, or mic input, which has a variable impedance switch, which is pretty sweet for using different microphones. High pass filters just above that up to 200 cycles. It's obviously variable. Um, you've got your uh, gain and trim here for you know fine adjustments to the mic actual input and gain staging the mic input. Then right over here to the right of that, you've got your compressor. Obviously the, the controls you'd see on a compressor, attack, release, threshold, ratio, and uh, makeup gain. This compressor sounds amazing in with nothing happening or actually doing slight compression or some serious compression. So it's cool just to either have it in and not actually compressing anything because it's changing the sound, which is cool. Um, and then actually doing some stuff to compress the sound and control the dynamics. Um, then you've got your four band EQ over here all the way to the right, just past the sweet VU meter here. You've got four bands of EQ, which are overlapping frequency, which is sick. Uh, but they sound really amazing and small minor adjustments are actually transparent. You can actually hear them coming through um, so you don't have to really dig anything out or push anything in. But the cool thing is if you're doing something on the channel strip you can bypass it. You can take it out of the channel strip to see if you're actually doing something good or you're making it worse, which I often do. Um, and then you have your output level here. You got a couple of switches down here at the bottom, more than a couple, several switches. Um, your instrument inputs here, so you can plug your guitar, bass guitar, right into this bad boy and start rocking. You've got polarity, phantom power, a pad, 20 dB pad, your compressor bypass switches here. Uh, change the meter, negative 6 dB, so you can see that switches up. Uh, meter to gain reduction, so if there's a compressor in, you'll actually see in dB the gain reduction that's happening with the compressor. You've got <coughs> LF peak, EQ bypass, which is super imp important, what I was talking about earlier, is I can take the EQ out and see if I'm helping or hurting the signal path. Um, and then your EQ compressor swap, which is cool. I can take EQ and put it before the compressor and make it act more like a de-esser or just, you know, control the overall output with the compressor on the output stage. Then you've got your high frequency peak here and obviously your power because you have to turn it off and on to make rock music. You can switch everything, it's pretty amazing. You can switch the EQ and the compression in the channel strip which makes it kind of like a de and it's pretty sweet. Um, and then just having that in or out of the channel changes the sound so you've got a lot, a ton really of options uh, to get the sound that you're looking for. So that's the ADL 700. Sick. Coming to you soon.